Paris, did you get a chance either before or after the game or both to talk to Coach Schaefer? And if so, what was that interaction like? Um, before the game, I actually got a chance to talk to Schaefer. And um, it was actually a great experience. You know, it was weird seeing him on another team, but it was nice to actually talk to him after not seeing him for some years. And he's definitely still asking about me, how I'm doing in school and stuff like that. So it was a great interaction. Mark on the right. Paris, back here. Um, so Coach Babers just said that he didn't think you guys' heads were in the right place, and he took the blame for that. Can you speak to that? If, if you guys were, how much you were thinking of Shave during the game, how much that maybe threw you off your edge? I mean, honestly, thinking about Shave is just something that people just let get to their head, I would believe. I think also as well, I thought about Shave more than I would like to. I just, it was just weird, you know, something to get guys off. I think it's something that a lot of us haven't experienced before, you know, playing an a old coach. So it was definitely just a different experience. I guess having, having said that, you got some pretty good licks on stock still in that first half. Um, you had more success in the second half. Any adjustments that they made that you can point to on, on what the difference was? Uh, they definitely were checking a lot of our uh, blitzes. They were running a lot of hard counts to see where we were coming from. So definitely good on their part. They scored on three straight drives in the third and fourth quarters. What happened at that point? Because you guys had pretty much held them in check. Um, it was just basically a lot of mental mistakes and a lot of adjustments they made that, to get our eyes wrong and just guys, you know, making little things, little mistakes that we can't afford to make at this point. Uh, relatively quiet night for Richie James with eight catches, given his history. Um, was the plan to sort of stop him at first and then worry about the other guys after that? Because they had a few other guys who had big nights as well. Uh, it was definitely a uh, three. We knew he was a good player, and we definitely game plan for him. We knew he gets the ball a lot in their offense. So, I mean, yeah, we definitely didn't want the ball in his hands. So. Paris, uh, I think a lot of the fans chalked up the first three games as wins. And now that you guys are one on one, how, how do you not let this throw you off the rails? I mean, you know, you got to go every game at a time, one game at a time. I mean, you can't chalk anything to an easy win in college football, honestly. Also, take questions from linebacker Jonathan Thomas as well. Uh, yeah, well please raise your hand. Second row. Jonathan, your first game this season. How did it feel to get back on the field, especially getting an interception early in the game? Uh, it felt good. It's good to be back. Jonathan, this, uh, in the past you've had fumble recovery sacks. Now you add the interception to the list. Um, what's going through your mind at that time, uh, personally and for the team, in a game where turnovers are so huge? Uh, I just want to make a big play from, uh, from you and my teammates. This question is actually for Paris. Um, as far as obviously this is a tough setback, but you know, being one of those senior leaders of this team, what will you be saying? What will the other seniors and captains from this team be saying to the rest of the group? Make sure that you're ready for next game, next Saturday. I mean, you just got to go look at the film, look at the mistakes, and examine yourself hard, man. You got to look in the mirror, everyone, everybody on the team, everybody has to do their 111. So, but you also can't let the loss weigh on you and affect you the next game. So after you watch the film, make your adjustments, you got to flush it. Jonathan, this question's for you. Um, can you talk about the Schaefer effect, the impact it had on you guys seeing him before the game and, and then playing in it, how strange it was? Coach said it had a lot to do with how things went. I mean, obviously, uh, we wanted uh, to prove to Coach Schaefer that we're a good recruiting class that he brought in. And we definitely want to get the win. And um, this is it's really disappointing to lose against him because we wanted to prove something to him. How much did the blitz packages that Middle Tennessee threw at you early kind of get you guys off of rhythm? It seemed like it took you maybe to the middle of the second quarter before you really started getting into a rhythm. Yeah, I mean, um, Middle Tennessee did a great job uh, 
coming with pressure and disguising their looks with a lot of different stuff that we didn't see before. So um, props to them. So um, made it difficult. Eric, there was a couple of key situations where it looked like you actually drew them off sides and you snapped it quick and had a play. I think there was one yeah. that was on fourth down and one that was on another play that was key. What did you see there? Uh, what were your thoughts on what went down there? I mean, you can't leave it up to the ref at the end of the day, but, um, you know, when they're off sides, you know, our centers are trained to, you know, snap. And I'm thinking a free play. Um, so it's frustrating, you know, when you, you don't see yellow. I'm not looking for the yellow. I'm just seeing them jump across the, the line. So, um, but you can't leave it up to the refs. Eric, uh, Coach Babers said it was a huge advantage, he thought, or a big advantage that, that Scott Schaefer knew a lot of you guys, personnel-wise. Yeah. How did it feel for you? Did it almost feel like the defense knew where you were going and knew the plays, or how did it feel for you guys? I mean, like I said before, um, Coach Schaefer, he's, he's a genius, so he always came up with something. And like I said, he gave us stuff we hadn't seen before, a bunch of different disguises, so uh, props to Coach Schaefer. Eric, thanks. At any point in the game, did it feel to you like the, the whole Orange's new fast scheme was kind of going slower than usual? This game kind of felt a little back and forth and paced. Like I said, I mean, um, that just kind of had to do with uh, the, the new looks that we were getting. Um, you know, we just had to execute. It came down to execution. Eric, me again, can you just talk about how frustrating it was for you guys as an offense? Um, it, it just seemed like a lot of the plays were going sideways and not down the field. Was that just not open or weren't you able to get it down there because of the blitzes or what? Um, like I said, you know, it's just, it comes down to execution, you know. Um, personally, I don't really know as of what happened right now, but we'll, we'll get back into film and be able to look at that. And the most important thing is you just learn from this and you got to move on, you got to get better. A lot of times it seemed like you guys were really driving, really moving, and somebody on the other team would go down. Um, do you guys give any thought about that? Is it, they might be faking injuries or just trying to do that to slow you down? Or I is mean, that I, I, hope, I hope they're not faking injuries because that's just, you know, that's that's just unheard of. Um, but you know, unfortunately, you know, if someone's actually hurt, then you know you can't do anything about that. But um, it seemed like every time it was in a crucial situation, especially when, you know, it's just. You can't. It's that's a tough question because you you don't know if they're actually hurt or not. You know that's a question for them, honestly. So. Time for two more questions for the players. Yeah, he, um, we thought he got the right depth. Um, I thought I like Steve's route. Um, it's just you know, it, tough call. Um, I personally didn't see the replay, so I didn't see what happened, but I'll see it in film. But um, I thought Steve did a great job. He executed well on that play, and the uh, line did a great job as well. And the coaches, I mean, that was a great play call. We, I, I thought we had it, but um, I guess not. Last question for the players. Chris. Uh, Eric, I mean, I know we talked about it last year, but, but were you at all troubled by the, the number of guys that seemed to go down uh, for them on defense and the fact that it was Scott's, you know, um, are you are, is that similar to his question? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was over there. I'm oh, it's all good. Um, yeah, I answered that all right. But um, like I said, I mean, if they're hurt, you, you hope they're not hurt. Um, but you can't. That's a question for them, honestly. Sorry, that's the last one. No, it's okay. All good. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, guys.